Okay, so I know a lot of you have been having trouble with my burning technique that I uploaded like about a year ago. So I'm making a new updated one that I'm pretty sure still works. So yeah. Um, all the downloads will be in the description. And so yeah, I'm gonna just go through it now, so yeah. Okay, first you download the image burn. And you just download the most recent one for you and whatever, um, you know, whatever works for you. I'd probably use the one that's provided by Image Burn. But first, you download that. I already have it downloaded, but you just kind of follow the process. You, it's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, after that, it should open. And you just want to immediately close it and then download this next file I'm about to show you. Now, I know you're going to get to this website and be very, like, sus, because it has a lot of sus ads, but you don't click this. This is an obvious fake download. You go down here and click the download this file that should be in the uh, gray. And I'll just re-download it just to... Well, first got to put in the security thing, but... Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Uh... This. Oh wait, I put a G with that. Okay. And so yeah, starts to download. Then you are going to extract this. So you're gonna sh show in folder. I got a crappy mouse because my trackpad died. But uh, you will extract all. Um. I'm gonna select my desktop. Boom. Boom. Extract. Then you'll get these three files. And they're on my desktop. So now for the next step. Oh, yeah, and there's my instructions I kind of noted so I remember. But yeah, so now I'll uh, go to the next step. So now you open your uh, file management. And you want to go to local disk. Then you'll see program files and program files x20 or 20 86. Uh, you want to click on 86 if you can, or just program files if that's all you have, depending on your operating system. So you open that, and you're going to look for the image burn file. So you'll open that, and the camera's going to be a little shaky because I'm holding it with my uh, left hand, but see, I already have it. But what you're gonna want to do is get these free files that were in this folder, and basically drag them over and move them into this file. So I'll just replace all of them. So yeah, now those files are in there. So now it should work. So now you can open an image burn if you wanted, but. I'm going to show you the website I use to get my um, images and ROMs, so yeah. So here we are at the website I like to use, so go to up here, oh, well, first you close the ad. You go here and then you find the console, uh, DC Streamcast, and let's see what do I want to download, I hope no porn ads show up or something. Uh, <laughs> Um, let me find a game. Uh, seems like a Tomb Raider game. Just waiting for a freaking porn ad to pop up. Uh, you know, look for what you want. And you want to make sure you get one that's actually in your language. We'll do Tomb Raider for less. Yeah, we'll do this uh, guy. So I has like more ads every time. <laughs> yeah, sites like this are always going to seem a little fishy, but you just got to go with it. Then you're going to click on the download links. And you want to download the CDI. GDI is if you're like booting from a, like a uh, SD card or if you're using a program like that. So you're going to download this. Rewrap the disk screen and give it a second. Jesus 
Christ. Never had that. That bad. Wait. Yeah, you're gonna just wanna go through this and download it. Uh, I'll just skip ahead to the actual burning part. Okay, I put in the security question and I clicked on this link. And it is officially downloading super slow, but don't worry about that. Uh, so next, you're gonna wanna download 7-zip to uh, help extract it, cause uh, I've just heard that it, these don't work if you just extract it with the Google extraction like I did with the file before. So for these games, you'll need 7-zip and that'll be in the uh, description too. And that's also kind of self-explanatory. So uh, I'll let you figure that one out. But yeah, I'll just cut to the part where we actually start burning the CD. Okay, so after seemingly forever, if this focuses, uh, it's done. <laughs> so we will show in folder. And uh, I just like to put the folder on my desktop just to make it easier to access. So now I'm gonna go get 7-zip and yeah, be right back. <laughs> Just download the version that fits your computer best. So mine would be the Windows 64-bit version. And it's a very quick download. And this will all be in the link or description below. The link will be in the description. I think that's, what, that's definitely what I mean. So yeah, get that installed. And uh, I'm gonna find it. Here we go. And oh yeah, I forgot. There's no like application. Okay, so now you're gonna want to right-click on the game and then go to the little seven zip tab and then extract here. And it'll do its thing, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it makes it into a folder. If it just Let's see. In any second now. Yep. See if it has that little disk symbol, that usually means the ISO is good to uh, burn. So yeah. So you can basically just delete this, the original download. You just need the burnable ISO. So we can delete that. Oh, we're not. Be gone. Be gone. Okay. Just ignore that. Okay. So. What we're gonna do is now we open. Oh wait, what? Okay, now let's do it. Okay, I'm not even gonna edit that out. Forget that. Okay, so now you open your image burn, and then you're gonna hit right image to disk. Okay, now what you do is up here where it says source. Oh my hand's so shaky. Uh, so you're gonna go out and find your thing. So here it is right here, or you can drag it in from the desktop, but now it should show up in there. And one thing you're going to want to do is for write speed, put it at the lowest you can. I usually run it at like times 6, even though it's not the lowest. It's just a personal preference. So now, if you have a laptop like me, or are using one, you're going to open up your... Uh, this drive, grab your full length disc. Now, I use 700 uh, megabyte CDs. I do not think DVDs work. And also, burning only works on uh, older model Dreamcasts. Uh, so, just to clear that up, I already have this labeled, so, because I wanted to burn this game in the first place. So, you're going to put it in, close it. And then I'll, once it detects a disc, this little symbol will turn red. There, my mouse works, okay. This symbol will turn red. Then you hit burn and just let it run through its process. I'm not going to go through it all. But basically, it's going to tell you to eventually eject the disc and re-enter it as like a confirmation. 
then it'll just complete and it should be done so we're just going to go straight to the actual testing the game so here we go Okay, and now you see it works, so yeah. Now, like I said last time, like almost a year ago, I do not condone piracy, even though I just did it. But it's different with something like this because the people who made these games most likely haven't made money off of them in like at least 15 years, if not 18. So I think the creators would be more glad just to see people going through the trouble to actually play their games than buying them and them not making any money so yeah uh if you have any troubles just comment it to me and i'll see if i know anything about it or you can always just look up someone who knows a little more about what they're doing which is what i would recommend because i don't really know all that much about what i'm doing <laughs> so yeah thank you guys